Sunday everybody and welcome to the vlog. Well, how quick are how quick? How quick are the weeks going? It's crazy. It's already mid-March already heading into April. That is just crazy. Um we are getting ready for school and work and um, Otto has just jumped out the shower, so I thought I'll pick up the camera and say welcome to the vlog while I'm getting him out. But, um, oh, oh, he's back. He's got strawberry as well. So strawberry will say hello in a minute with Otto. Um, we're going to get Oscar moving off the couch because he's still sitting in his hoodie eating toast. So, um, yeah, it's, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know what time it is. It's somewhere about 10 or quarter past eight. My watch is not actually showing me a time. Just... A photo. I think it's because I haven't unlocked it yet. <laughs> Tap. Hmm. Just showing you that. Anyway, it's somewhere about quarter past eight. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm ready. I've just put my shoes on and make my coffee, um, and then we'll be on our way. So, um, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Uh, so funny I'm having a little giggle to myself because um, both boys have just gone to school and um, Otto made up a new deal for Monday that um, on Mondays Oscar goes to primary school and get dropped off and walk up to high school and Fridays they always get dropped off high school and Os Otto has to walk down so Otto said today Monday Oscar can walk up to primary and Oscar was dragging the chain and taking so long because he said he was going to have a one minute shower, which I said wasn't going to happen. And then he was in there for so long. So I said to him, okay, you got to walk up to um, high school from primary. And he thought I was joking. <laughs> so when I told him to get out at primary school and walk up, he's like, what? You're serious? I'm like, yes, I was very serious. I wasn't joking. <laughs> so <clears throat> he was not happy with me. Um, but I'm sure he'll get over it. I did feel a little tiny bit bad because he's still got a really sore knee, but, um, he's got to do a lot of walking at school today. Anyway, um, oh dear. Anyway, we'll see. Um, he'll get over it, I'm sure. I am just on my way to work and I have been so slack. I have not been making my overnight wheat bigs. Um, so I do have toast and coffee in the car. Um, it's 8.45, so I'm a little bit earlier, um, heading on the way to work, which means as soon as I get up over this hill, the traffic will probably be banked right up. Anyway, let's get to work. Well, I did make it through that traffic pretty quick. My watch still is not telling me. Oh, <laughs> I could hear a noise, but it's a PA announcement at school. Anyway, focus, Rhiannon. Um, my watch is still not showing me the time, which I yeah tried to um, just showing photos. So I tried to look on my actual watch settings on my phone, but. It says the clock display is on. Um, if I go into a, um, I don't know, if I go into like an app or something that shows the time, it'll show up. But I'm like, what is the point of having my watch if it doesn't tell the time? I mean, I literally cannot go without wearing my watch because it just feels too awkward. So even if my watch is flat and it's not charged, I still will wear it. Um, but yeah, it's just so weird that the time's not showing up. The time is the time is um, 
I actually have no idea because I don't even have the car on. I've turned the car off already. Eight fifty-four. That was the time. So it's eight fifty-four. So I've got a little bit of time um, before I've got to head over into work. But I do have my toast in the car. Um, I've got peanut butter toast today. Um, so I'm just going to eat that. I've also got my new neck fan to try out today, but um, I am already disappointed in it. So originally I ordered one of these um, off like one of those, you know, pop-up Facebook websites and um, I was about $35 or something and I ordered it and was waiting and waiting, never turned up. So I checked... I had a screenshot of the confirmation. Um, I checked that, like, details in my email. Nothing come up, so I didn't get an order confirmation. So I went back and found this thing on Facebook, and I emailed them, and I never got a response. So I'd say it was just a scam. So I did just order these ones from Timu, but I don't think they're going to be very good. So they do have five different speeds, and they... They sound like they're doing stuff, but air just comes out of there, not even out of there like I thought it would as well. And like it's a little bit, but I don't even know. I'm just going to put them on awkwardly too. Uh, it might be okay, <laughs> but yeah, they're really awkward to get on and off. Um, but they're probably more like a compact and less standout design. I don't even know where the button is turned off. There we go. Um, than the other ones. So I have got them to try out today and I've also got the chicken shredder um, to try out with the chicken. Plus my lunch in there. I grabbed a packet of those and I've just got um, some little crackers and <laughs> a dip in there. So that's my lunchbox for today. Going all out with the lunchbox. Um, anyway, I'm going to sit here and eat my toast and then head into school work head into the school for work <laughs> I am a melting hot sweaty mess I have so much sweat my shoes are filled with sweat oh my gosh and I cannot go home and get changed because I'm late out of work I need to have a drink If my drink is hot, it's not that hot, but I am oh, just finishing work, obviously, but I'm trying to see, yes, I have something to try and hide a bit of my red face because I now have to go into school because it's um, open classroom and I'm like, it's five minutes until open classroom starts, so I need to leave work and get there and go in the classroom. But I'm about to pump the air con and then um, hopefully I'll cool down in the five minute drive there. But I'm melting. <laughs> I'm in the school car park and I've just put some fresh deodorant and sprayed some perfume. Um, this is the one that I sprayed Sensi by Giorgio Armani. I've had this bottle for a very, very long time and it's almost empty and it smells so good. Um, and now I'm just waiting till the last minute before I turn the car off. <laughs> oh. But I am going to put some of this on my face. Oh. I don't even know what this is. It's called a pan stick. But, oh. Anything just to help take that red, <laughs> red face away. I'm gonna have to get a wipe out of the car to wipe my hands because I'm also gonna have this foundation type stick on me. Oh, I also have. A body shot powder. 
Actually, no, I don't have any remedy. I should have used that to remedy. really my colour that stiff anymore because I have had it for a little while so they do say you change um like skin colour but uh, anything's better than walking in the school with that red face oh it is one of um <laughs> those things that I am most self-conscious about and how red my face goes when I get hot and poor oh, oh, my lip gloss is melting um, poor Oscar is the same. Um, when he gets hot, he gets a really red face as well. And he hates it. So, anyway. Can't do anything about it. <laughs> Can't change it. Mm. Um, they were supposed to have a coffee van here, which would have been super, but no coffee van because there's illness so anyway it's now 2.38 so I've got two minutes I realise you're probably struggling to hear me with the um, fan going mad but um, I need it <laughs> oh, I'm debating whether I um, take ginger into the classroom Mm, I think that I'll probably like that. So I might take Jean Green as well. Oh, anyway, into the classroom I go. We do actually have to check in at the school every time we come in, but we've got an app that we can check in on, so I think I'll do that so I don't have to stop at the office and check in. <laughs> jumped out and gotten in because Oscar's Timu package has arrived at the front door and he is so excited to rip into it. I don't know if I even said about um, Oscar's Timu, uh, I don't know what you call it, scam. <laughs> he scammed um, people to get the invites. Oh, he's at the, oh, I missed him. He was just there. And he was doing a stupid dance thing. <laughs> but anyway, if I didn't say, oh my phone, my that's better. Um, it's a little better anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, he did like a little scam thing and got all of his friends to click on his invite link. So he got six free gifts. So, um. Yeah, he's very excited. He's been watching the tracking and he said he did get an email today saying it was out for delivery and the giant package is on the doorstep. So we might do a Timu haul of that. Well, Oscar just filmed his Timu haul. Um, uh, I think Otto and Oscar were fighting in it. I wasn't really watching. I just set the camera up for them to film. So someone that does appear in that Timu haul is this... Um, creepy Garfield. My screen is so... Oh, that's better. This creepy 
He doesn't think that something in that team in order really, really reeks. But what the hell is this? <laughs> um, so they have filmed that. Um, the uh, aircon guy has rung me and said that he's going to call past on his way home. Um, I thought he said 10 to 15 minutes, but it's been 10 to 15, so I'm not sure what he meant, but hopefully he's here soon because um, I would like to go and have a shower because I am so hot from work. I just got a doorbell alert. Maybe he's here. I don't know what to say. I'm coming to you with a great news. The best news. I am so excited to tell you that our aircon is working. Oh, it's such a relief. I could instantly feel it cool in here. Um, it's still got to obviously drop some degrees in temperature. I'm still sweating a little bit, but it is so nice to stand under it and it be nice, cool air. So, um, he had the part to fix it, which was good. And it was probably the cheapest part that we could replace. So, um, I think it's probably going to be about one to $200 at the most. So, um, I'm happy with that. So. I'm looking forward to when we come back from haircuts that the house is going to be nice and cool because that's what else we've got tonight but i am going to go get in the shower um and then when i get out it's going to be nice and cool and i'm going to enjoy it until we head off for um haircut just auto so oscar's already had his done as you would have seen last week's vlog um but yeah we're gonna go and get otto's haircut so he's gonna rid of his mullet which i am so thankful for because it does look cute, but it's such a nightmare every morning. Wild, wild, wild. So this morning I was celebrating not having to put all this product in Otto's hair um, to get his hair just to sit. Anyway, I'm heading for the shower. Well, the sun's so glary, but here's Otto's hair before I turn around. And look how long it is. <laughs> and we will... Oh, it's not ready anymore, though. <laughs> we'll be back. And then uh, I'll say hi. Hang on. After my face. No. Why? Oh, I'll show it. Hi. Scan that. Yep, put it down. And now your chocolate. Stand it up. Right. Go. No, scan it. Scan it. Stand it upright. Yep, that's it. Right, push pay now. And then you got to select cash. When it comes up. Oh, hang on, we better... No, that was card. Right. Cash, then you put your money in. So you're gonna put it one by one here. here. Up here? Yep. Yep, now your next one. Mm. All right, let's look at all those fresh cut. Turn around. Well, that's so good. Those birds are so noisy. It was up to here. It was. <laughs> and now it's up Packing away the and I got things. five cents and five dollars. Five dollars and five cents, yep. Oscar's packing in the groceries that we just got. <laughs> and Otto spent his money. $47.95, three bucks. Stop burping. Oh my goodness, I need to get these children out of public. Yeah. I actually bought myself a piece of steak to have the tea um, when we went in the supermarket and I've just got it on the fry pan. I am so keen to tea, so hungry. <laughs> it's um, 8.23. By the way, yes, I turned my watch on and off and I got the time to display back on there. So it's 8.23. Um, the boys had chicken tennis for tea. Um, we've got... Some left over here, so um, Oscar will probably have them in a wrap tomorrow night. Um, but I'm cooking my steak. I'm just going to put some sweet potato um, in the air fryer and have that with my steak.
Time to wake up, I do. <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Otto had a sleepover with me and oh, focus. Um, yeah, Otto had a sleepover with me last night because Shane is in Waterball. Otto has two sleep sleepovers with me and then Oscar's going to have a sleepover. So Otto's got one more night, but I'm just trying to wake him up. <laughs> Still waking up myself. Well, it's just after seven, but we need to get up and ready for the day. We have school photo day today, so i got to make sure. Um, we've got Otto's jumper packed in because I need to wear that jumper for the photo. So which I think that's in his bag. But anyway, let's get this day started. Well, I've just made my coffee and I've made it a few minutes before I need to leave. So I'm going to have a few mouthfuls before I start the journey out the door. <laughs> oh, it's nice and hot. Oh, it tastes good. But um, yeah, I'm rounding up the boys and um, we are off on our school and work day. <sighs> what have we been doing in the car, Otto? Just standing here. Yep, waiting for Oscar. Here he is, Oscar Barnes. He's not going to hop in because I've got the camera pointing that way. <laughs> I told you, he's slinking into the seat. Blazer, but um, it's compulsory to um, yes, wear, it. wear it. It does, and definitely today they've got to wear a tie and blazer. <laughs> oh, yeah. go up a bit closer. <laughs> the shoulder pads. Just hold it still. I can't. Uh. <laughs> we'll just wait till we stop. <laughs> now this is. Um, <laughs> I can't stop laughing at that. <laughs> oh, this is what Oscar that? reckons that <laughs> with the shoulder pads. He looks like. <laughs> oh, he doesn't. But anyway, we're definitely going to get the opportunity to stop in a second because the gauntlet is um, a little busy this morning. It's a weird from back here. Oh, all right. Now show it up close. The glare. This is how Oscar thinks he looks like with his blazer on. Oh, he's screaming off. Anyway, I don't think he does, but... Just the shoulder pads. Oh, it's a good laugh for the morning, anyway. Anyway, the boys have school photo day today. I can finally turn my aircon down or flat out because I'm cooling down a little bit. I'm trying to leave work and I've um, yeah, been procrastinating because I need to go to the supermarket. I want to grab some uh, of the chicken breast that Otto Oscar likes that's on sale for half price. Um, I definitely don't want to take either of the boys so I kind of want to do it before school 
pick up time, but um, oh, I just want to go home <laughs> and get changed, have a shower and get changed because just the usual at work. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be so conscious and I'm not complaining about the heat. <sighs> anyway, it's, it's my time to complain <laughs> anyway because in winter I will be thriving while majority of the people will not be. Um, so while I suffer in summer, I know there's people, yes, Christy, <laughs> I'm talking about you that suffer in winter. Um, Christy does not like the cold. Oh, Christy has told me that 20 degrees, it's freezing, she needs a jumper. <laughs> so I'm worried about Christy in winter. But anyway, for now, I'm counting down um, until cooler the days. Pretty much well, the days are numbered because I'm actually finished work for the canteen for the week because I don't work Wednesdays or Fridays at the canteen. Um, and Thursday is the school sports day, so no canteen running, so no work. And next Tuesday is a student free day, so I'll only work Monday and Thursday of next week, and then it's holidays. So um, no more days this week, and two days next week. And hopefully the forecast will be a little bit lower um, next week. And after the holidays, even lower again. We're gonna make our way into winter. <laughs> and then you'll get a good six months um, reprieve from hearing about me whinge about how hot I am. <laughs> anyway, my whole point of that ramble was I need to go to the supermarket. Definitely don't want to take my children because that just, Gives me anxiety, they fight over the trolley. Um, they obviously don't know which direction I want to go in. And when I go into a supermarket, I want to get in and get out because that's not my preferred way to shop online, click and collect delivery. Yes, um, yeah, so I'm always trying to say stop, go, yeah, get this. You know, mums, you know, the drill when you go to take kids and dads. Some dads do that too. Shane, if he goes, he definitely doesn't go with kids. Um, so unfortunate that I don't have to but I don't really want to rush and I'll see how I go for time when I get in and have a shower but um, I know it's going to be nice and cool because I did leave the aircon on today but I was so happy last night in a world of bliss in my aircon coldness um, and now tomorrow it's going to be 16 so I probably won't need the aircon tomorrow but you never know um Anyway, yeah. Mainly just want to go to the supermarket because um, the, I can't remember what it's called, FPC, the protein chicken thing that Oscar likes, is on sale for half price and it's pretty expensive at full price so I would never buy it that way. So I want to cook the duck into coals and grab a couple of packets of that for the freezer. Um, but I'm also going to go to Aldi and get bread, but I think I'll do that tomorrow because I'll have enough for sandwiches tomorrow and toast, so um, I'll do Aldi tomorrow. But for now, I'm almost home, keen to have a nice cold glass of water and then get in the shower and debate yeah, whether I go to the supermarket before I get the boys or I might pick the boys up, drop them home and then go to the supermarket. I might do that. There's always a chance of one of them will want to come. Mm. Anyway, <laughs> important decisions to be made. I did not go to the supermarket before I got the boys from school and I chose to come at probably the busiest time of the day. Oh, it's 5.57 now. I think I got here about 5.30. The registers were... Oh, oh, the registers were busy. The store was busy. 
Anyway, I got what I need. I was going to get one lot of diced chicken just because I'm being super lazy and I couldn't be bothered cutting up chicken. I'm making butter chicken for tea and I couldn't be bothered cutting up chicken. Had chicken in the freezer. I couldn't be bothered getting it out. Plus, I actually had probably more chicken than what I need because it's for when Shane and I have um, meals with chicken. So, probably too much. So, that's my excuse anyway. <coughs> Even though I am making butter chicken for tea tonight and then I'll probably have it again tomorrow night and then lunch another day and maybe one in the freezer so I could have just got the chicken out but I was being lazy <laughs> so I was just gonna get one diced chicken but it was nine dollars for one and two for 13 so I'm like I'll just get the two I was gonna say 13 <laughs> I'll get two for 13 is what I was trying to say oh um yes yeah, so I'm sitting here in the car. I need to put my seatbelt on and leave, but I'm just. Oh, excuse me. I bet you all yawned then. <laughs> um, or before when I yawned. I bet you yawned. Um, it's contagious yawning. Um, I'm procrastinating about going home because when I get home, there's work things to be done. <laughs> not not work as in work, but um, Oscar's um, yes, got a little business that he's opening up for two days at school. So it's his sticker business. So he's got all these designs and he's printed all these designs. And now I'm helping him cut out the um, designs. And I'm helping him do it because I've got two guillotines. One's a smaller one and it's easy to use. And this bigger one, it's so hard to get the thing lined up. And even I'm frustrating, frustrated with it. So I've been doing that before I left as well. <coughs> so I'll show you a bit of that when I get home. But they've just been learning about... Um, business type things in Hass. Um, don't even know what Hass stands for. It's humanities and social studies, maybe. Good guess if it is. <laughs> um, yeah, they've been doing the groundwork of you know starting a business and etc. etc. So tomorrow and Thursday are the stall days where they at recess sell their um, items for sale. They have to pay back the parents if the parents put any money into it. Um, which I did, $36. I think I said on a few blogs ago that um, I was getting the sticker paper. So we've got that, but um, when Oscar worked it out, he's going to make like a good profit if he can sell all, almost, or a lot of stickers. So, because um, I think <coughs> he had 100 sheets um, of paper. So if he printed one sticker, on every sheet then he needed to sell them for 36 cents each so and he's selling them for a dollar each or five for three dollars I think he's doing and then he's got some that he's also selling for two dollars some bigger ones so he will at least make his money back and then for the tax tax side of it um, they have to donate 10% of their profit to a thing called Sparsh, which is like our sister school in India. So that's what he's got to do with that. So <coughs> I'll update Thursday how he went with his um, sales, but he's hoping he's going to sell out of stickers and have to print more tomorrow night. <laughs> Don't know if I am. Um, anyway, no work for me tomorrow. Walk work, no work for me tomorrow or Thursday. And only one house Friday. So the rest of the week is panning out pretty good. I don't think it's going to be very hot. I definitely know it's not going to be very hot tomorrow. 16 degrees. I am rubbing my hands together <laughs> with that temperature. Um, yes, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I do have a meeting for my dad in the morning um, for his uh, supported living plan thing. Um, so I do have that in the morning. And then I'm not really sure. I still haven't got my nails done. Um, <coughs> all my toenails, so maybe at some stage I'll do that, but, uh, and maybe not, <laughs> we'll see, um, I don't want to spend the extra money myself, that's the issue, anyway, ramble over, I'm going home, I've been rambling for 4 minutes and 54 seconds, so I need to get home, um, to these boys, <coughs> Otto had fallen asleep on the floor, um, when he was waiting for Oscar to get off the computer, and I woke him up and said, to go on the computer and he was like so out of it he didn't even know what I was saying he just stood up and walked around in circles and then I'm like 
I want to know if you want your account or Oscar's account on the computer <coughs> and he's just couldn't answer me this lay back to the floor. so I just left him there anyway he's probably still asleep when I get home but that's where I'm going mm. what is the next day how much toast do you want Okay, Oscar and I, joint effort, have gotten some stickers ready to sell tomorrow. Uh, so, he's got a lot of basketball ones and he selected all these images himself. And um, yeah, he's going to sell them off tomorrow. So they're ranging in prices from a dollar each, some of the bigger ones might be two dollars and then he's doing a deal like i don't know five to three dollars or something like that um anyway <laughs> so hopefully he um yeah sells some but we'll um update well when he'll drop the camera tomorrow but this one <laughs> um is my favorite one so it's kobe bryant michael jordan and i have no idea who that third player is <laughs> anyway, I thought Oscar was going to jump in and say, but he's obviously not listening. Um, yeah, that's probably my favourite one. Um, but these ones look pretty cool. Time is done. Oh, the time is done. I counted <laughs> 200. Okay, all right. I've just been counting down five minutes because I said we'll be done in five minutes. So I did three minutes and two minutes. Good job. Um, yeah, these ones look pretty cool too. They look good, so hopefully he has some luck with selling them. Mm -hmm. Well, Oscar's already made his first sale because I bought it. This is his first customer. <laughs> Me, no yep. strawberry. Oh, it was strawberry, was it? No, no, she's gonna be second. Oh, she'll be purchasing tomorrow. But so Oscar's at least made two dollars. Two dollars. Yeah. And these are the two. stickers that Oscar chose. Oh no, Otto Me. chose, not Oscar. <laughs> yeah, so, this one and that one. I'm gonna put that inside. Put it in there with these stickers. Put the money in. Money in. Yep. Not the stickers. No, you're the... Yep. All right. So, he's got his first $2. Okay, so... <laughs> we've also just quickly um, whipped up a little sticker label for his box. So, just because it was an old box that I used, um, I think, from the Amco Beauty Hall, actually. And um, it had, like, a bit of ripped tape or something there. So, I said, we'll put a sticker on it. So, stick it by Oscar. <laughs> and then all these stickies, stickies, stickers are inside even with his $2 first sale. Just turning off lights as I walk through the house um, to stop these boys from fighting the first and get them into their beds because it is probably back to the front, but 9.42 and they're fighting on my bed. Um... <laughs> Oh, anyway, I've told them a few times to get into bed, but Otto is sleeping with me, so that's why they're fighting on my bed. Um, yeah, so he's in there already, and then Oscar's going in and annoying him. Anyway, um, I'm heading to bed myself. 
happy Wednesday. Oh, day off today and I am so excited to not be sweating away in the canteen, that is for sure. And it's not going to be that warm of a day either, so that's a win-win all around. But I have dropped the boys at school um, and I was going to say I'm off to work, but I'm not off to work, I just said that. <laughs> Um, I am debating what I am going to do. I'm putting off going home for as long as I can because I want to get home. There's work to be done there. So, um, yeah, so I'm just <laughs> sitting in the car debating what I'm going to do. Thinking about going and get a coffee, but I'm not sure where from. So that's my next thing. And then I also do want to get maybe a pedicure or a manicure or both. Um, but yeah just deciding which place I might go to decisions decisions I tell you but nothing much happening today but happy Wednesday I'm back from getting my nails done so I did get a pedicure and a manicure and not mad about it um, my nails I got a French polish So just a French polish and I went pink on my <laughs> toes, which uh, you can't see right now, sit so down there. <laughs> but um, yes, finally got it done. So um, now what do I have to do? I've got to go to Aldi. That's what I need to do. So I will probably go to Aldi and then head home. I'm about to head into Aldi just to grab a few things and I thought I may as well pop it up on the channel as a little grocery haul. So let's go into Aldi and spend some money. Well, I've been to Aldi and I'm currently in the drive through of the bakery, <laughs> a place I shouldn't have stopped at, but I'm here anyway. Shane and I used to spend so much money at this bakery, but um, we decided that we were spending too much money, so we stopped getting coffees, like daily, two coffees daily, um, <laughs> and we just go through occasionally now, but today, hello, thank you for that, thank you, but today I have gotten a pie for lunch, and a vanilla slice donut because they make delicious vanilla slice donuts so um, I'm going home and I'm going to try and learn how to speak <laughs> but I'm going to go home and I'm going to film a grocery haul of what I just got at Aldi it was um, yeah more than I thought I was going to get but that always happens um, And yeah, I'm gonna put that up on the channel. Oh, you've already seen that. I just totally lost my train of thought. Um, yeah, so I will get home and I will probably um, have my pie first and then I'll film the um, Aldi haul. And then I'll have my vanilla sliced donut either after, just depends on how full I am from the pie, either after the grocery haul or I'll save it till after dinner tonight, which is probably what I'm gonna end up doing, so. Anyway, home I go. Um, I also did do a quick stop in at Target, which I didn't um, say, but I just got three jumpers for winter. Um, just because, just because. <laughs> anyway, I probably should have went there on sale, but um, I always find that if you don't get the items when you see them in store, then they're not available. And they're just basically like a black, green and a striped jumper. Um, I'll show you when I get home, but yeah, I just find that it's, um, yeah, you've got to get them when you can, so they were $25 each, so um, not mad about that, well, kind of mad about spending $75, but well, she would be mad about spending $75, but oh well, and it still seems so crazy that I'm even thinking about buying a jumper, like I do have long sleeves on today, um, but I so regretted it, and oh, I was getting so hot in um, Target when I went in there that I definitely regretted it. Anyway, I'm rambling. I'm home, and I just quickly filmed my little Aldi haul, which you'll already have seen 
on the channel because it's probably going to go up tomorrow. So I'm <laughs> going out to the freezer just to put these frozen things in um, to the freezer and also I need two shelves for the bread so I need to put whatever is up on that top shelf somewhere else in the freezer. <laughs> anyway, we'll do that. Well, I'll do that, not we, I. This is the colour I went for on my toes. And normally I'm just going for sparkly. So, very brave move of me to not do sparkles. But this is a pretty pink colour anyway. Oh, so it was just the um, jumpers that I got. And, um, where can I put you? Right. If I can get you to stay there. All right. So, as I said, nothing exciting, but, oh, you can't even tell the colour of this. Let me open up the garage door. Maybe that might let a bit of light in, but it's just a green jumper. It's like an army green kind of colour. So I got one of those, that in, same jumper in green and black. Then I also got this one, oh, which is just, a, it's actually grey. It's not looking too grey, but it is just a grey striped long sleeve. Um, <laughs> nothing exciting, but... New underwear for Shane. Some more school socks for Oscar because I swear the washing machine just eats them. Um, just a plain orange t-shirt. It's Harmony Day tomorrow for Otto. Oscar may have something with orange on it. Or it's his sports uniform day anyway, so he's probably just one of the sports. And then I also got this long sleeve top. It's pretty cute. Yeah, it's just chilling. This was ten dollars in best and less for Otto. Um, so, they yeah, are just the things I need to get out of the front seat. And there's two more, not things, but there's two more girls in here <laughs> that I'll just leave right there, and they can come with me. Anyway, let's go get these boys from school. Oh. <laughs> Um, you would have seen the Timu haul on the, I was going to say app, on the channel by now, um, where I ordered not one, not two, but three of these. Dono did check my, um, order history and I definitely did order three and I ordered one red. So, um, I've got four of them and I don't like them. This bit here keeps pinching me and it really hurts but I'm kind of stuck <coughs> oh, stuck with four of them um, at least stuck with wearing this one until I order another one because I threw the other one straight out because I'm often taking my bands off and keeping them and then for no reason <laughs> oh but I did just come on here to say um, that I'm at school pickup Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, I was um, updating on what I was came on to say, and then um, one of the teachers, which is also a boy in Otto's classes, mum, um, came and was talking about a play date. So I think that's going to be happening right now. So I do need to be quick and message her um, with our address. Um, but Otto and Flynn had been trying to organise a play date between themselves, and I just hadn't messaged messaged message 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 like, chi like tricking tricking tricking, yeah night. i said tricking Tricky. instead of chicken um i hadn't messaged kirsty about it um so i've got to do that now but i was going on to say i couldn't see oscar at the pickup so i didn't know whether i was doing one pickup or two i think that's what i got on to say i did one pickup because he was there um but yeah kirsty came along and was talking to me through the car windows i was driving in so anyway i need to go message her careful Oh yeah, we'll do a quick update on Oscar's business stall. So 
he doesn't want to be on camera um but he made $13 today but he's probably going to make $40 tomorrow or something because he's got a lot of pre-orders for custom stickers so he's going to be a busy businessman tonight um and I guess that means I'm going to be busy on the guillotine as well <laughs> hopefully they're simple designs and not like crazy cut out things anyway Oscar will be helping me with that but um this guillotine that I've got is like really hard to line up exactly anyway I need to go message Kirsty and um organize this play date while Flynn is now here for a play date and I <laughs> I've got another one of these eggs, but I'm going to show you what's in the inside. Wrong way. Mm. So it's like Nutella inside. Mm. So delicious, but so, so dangerous because they are so easy to eat. <laughs> Normally Shane would be home on a Wednesday, but he needs to do an extra day in Warrnambool, so he's not coming home until tomorrow night. So another night with just the boys and I. So Oscar's <coughs> Otto said Oscar could have a sleepover with me tonight, but Oscar doesn't want to, so Otto's having another sleepover with me. Um but I've got leftover butter chicken for tea tonight, so I don't need to worry about anything for me just heating that up and Otto will probably have rice because there's leftover rice and who knows about Oscar Stop on it. This is what happens when it's meant to be bedtime at my house. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to get these boys into bed, but apparently they're playing golf with Jenga. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm giving up and going to bed. Oh, there's one. The other one won't be too far behind. It's coming. Oh, oh no. Oh, hello. Finally got his pajamas on at least. Otto is sleeping in here with me. Yeah. Oscar is stalling on bedtime. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> Send help. <laughs> See you Thursday. Good morning. Happy Thursday. I have dropped the boys off at school and no work again for me today. Oh, having two days off in a row is absolute bliss. <laughs> I have an appointment at Oscar's um, school at 10 o'clock this morning. So I do have coffee in the car because um, I'm going to quickly go and get my dad's smokes and things before I go. So I'll, I'll take my coffee in the car. So that's what I am up to. And then I'll go to the meeting and I'm not sure what else I'll get up to today but um excited to have the day off <laughs> um the boys have harmony day at school today so um <laughs> Oscar had nothing orange but he put orange shoelaces in so that was his effort <coughs> and Otto I showed you yesterday the t-shirt I got and he has black and orange like tie-dye pants so he wore those didn't actually take a photo of them which I normally do but anyway let me go and get these things organized and um see what I might get up to today nothing exciting though it is a lot later in the day and I haven't picked up the camera all day but I have just been into my very last Cairo appointment with Stacy so she is off to Townsville. I might have said Mount Isa in another vlog, but she's off to Townsville. So 
just got two more days in clinic so obviously today was my last appointment but yes now I need to make that move to go and see this new lady so stay tuned but <laughs> I probably let my um, bank balance recover a little bit because for all of this year I have been going every fortnight so and the review appointments are probably reasonable compared to others because the new lady that I'm going to go to is um, a higher price but her review appointments are $60 each and that's for like 15 minutes so um, yeah well worth the money spent but it has added up over the course of all of this year but oh, I picked the boys up from school and I just dropped them home oh, um, sorry yawning <laughs> um, Shane is home already from Warnable so dropped them home to him and now I'm gonna go home and um, work out what I'm gonna have for uh, dinner I actually have no idea I've got sausages and chicken in the fridge to use so maybe something with that um, <coughs> Shane has <coughs> Shane does have leftover pizza um, that he bought home that he had last night so he might have that um, so it might be uh, a bit of anything goes tonight <laughs> um, I've only got one house to clean tomorrow so yay for that and it's been a very like light on work week for me because I've had the last two days off I keep thinking it's Wednesday today but it's not it's Thursday so just smells tomorrow and then tomorrow night we have cricket team dinner so we're all going out for dinner Saturday Sunday Shane's working a bit over the weekend um, some split shifts for another company that he's been doing a bit of casual work for so he'll be gone Saturday Arvo into the evening and Sunday morning and then that's it. Then I'm work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off the canteen. Work Thursday, and that is it for a couple of weeks because it's um, Good Friday next Friday and school holidays. So ramble over. Well, happy Friday. <laughs> Feeling like Groundhog Day again today, where I'm about to start the battle to get the boys up and out of bed. Anyway, it must be done, so getting myself up out of bed and then starting the mission to get these boys to school. Happy Friday. If I had a choice, I would choose not to adult today because uh, I'm done with adulting already. Um, oh my goodness, so many cars coming in and out of school. Um, Oh, yes, I'm done with adulting or parenting or mumming today. Oh, I'm going to take a break from it and I'm going to be house cleaner for the day. Oh, well, for two hours at Mel's anyway. Thank goodness I only have one house. But anyway, Oscar was um, dragging the chain this morning. He couldn't end up finding his school shoes. So, and he was getting mad at that and, you know, asking me where they were, but I wasn't the one that took them off and didn't put them on the shoe rack. And these things happen when you don't put your shoes on the shoe rack. And, <laughs> oh, we are running so, so late. So I like to leave home. My aim is to leave home at 8.20 on um, Fridays. Today's not so bad because I don't have the double houses to clean, but um, we didn't leave home until like 8.37. So that's how late I'm running. But Mel's very thankful because Mel is home. Um, and yeah, she was like getting out of bed. So uh, anyway, I'm uh, debating whether I'm going to be even later and do a quick stop because I keep seeing this shower cleaning um, product and it's in stock at a packaging place here, which is kind of on the way. So I'm um, debating about stopping there, but the only thing that I'm hesitant on stopping there for is I don't know how much this product costs. So maybe I might just pull over um, and do that and have a look and see if I can see a price online and then that might make up the decision whether I go and do it. But um, yeah, it's, it's called Shower Clean. Um, and J-Soul is the brand, but I've just been seeing it all over TikTok, all these cleaners um, 
using it as one girl in particular, Charlotte, she has a cleaning business that's very successful in the um, Sydney area. So I am just going to pull over actually and have a quick search and see if I can see the price of it. If it's around $30, I'll get it, but it's for five litres, so I'll be back. All right, well, I had a quick look and it's about $40, so um, a very good price from 40 to 43 so they might be like Sydney prices as well. So I am going to stop. I just quickly called the packaging place. They have it in stock, so uh, I'm going to give it a try, um, and I'll also uh, always use it in my showers as well, so it's not going to get wasted, but... Uh, Anyway, I know Mel's going to be thankful that I'm late, but I am not. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> the one that I got is not the one that I have seen on TikTok, but it is the same brand, and the guy said it is a very, very good one, so <coughs> um, we'll see. Um, I just want to see uh, mainly a couple of spots in my shower, but also... Um, sorry, my um, <laughs> phone connected up to Bluetooth then. So I think I was saying um, mainly for my showers, but there's a few spots in Nicole's and Mel's showers that I want to um, use something a bit more than uh, vinegar and dishwashing liquid. So hopefully I haven't wasted the money because it was like $48, but I'll use it anyway. And this one is a multi-purpose, so you can use it on toilets and things like that as well. So I'll definitely use it and you only need 40 mils of the solution with the water so it should last me a very long time. I'm now on my way home from Mel's and um, she eventually kicked me out today because she's like just go you have done what you're gonna get done don't stay and wait your time um, but oh, I just realized I think Mel always leaves the, um, the cash that she pays me on the kitchen bench and I just realised that I went to pick it up and I didn't so I left it there. Anyway, that'll be a nice bonus for the next um, fortnight because next Friday is Good Friday so I will be in Phillip Island. Um, <laughs> oh, accommodation is still um, booked and not being cancelled so happy with that. Um, but yeah, Mel's like, off you go, don't just stay around looking for jobs to do, um, but I always feel bad about leaving before my time, she's like, as long as the bathrooms and toilets are done, she does not mind, because they're the things that she doesn't want to do, <coughs> and the most things that she loves me doing. Um, anyway, talking about showers, um, I was pretty happy with that um, shower cleaner, um, it's really super easy to rinse off, and um, yeah, left things nice and shiny, so... I am happy with it. Um, it's not maybe the miracle thing, so maybe once I've gone through this, I might get the place to order in the actual one that I've seen. Because I don't even know if I said that, but the one I've got is a little bit different than the one I've been seeing on TikTok. Um, so I might get them. They did say they can order it in, but I might get them to order it in once I have finished with this one. <coughs> um, I am. Oh, I'm waiting for this massive line of traffic on the highway to come through and then I am going home to strip my bed and wash my sheets so um, it's not a bad day so I think I'll get all the bedding dry today so that's the exciting thing that I am going to do right now. I'm super starving because I had one piece of toast. I had my coffee in the car on the way to Mel's, but um, I normally take toast as well, but I just had one piece of toast at home. So I'm super starving. I've got overnight wheat mix in the fridge at home. Um, so, and I also made oh, a sandwich. <laughs> I thought I had my cruise control on, but I didn't flick it back on after I um, came around the corner. I was slowing down. Anyway, um, I did make a sandwich when I was making Otto's for lunch as well, so I thought I don't have to um, yeah, make my sandwich, so that's done. Um, 
time, so we'll have that. How little bit later, I'll have the overnight wheat mix. For a late breakfast, it's 11.20, so almost lunch. And then, yeah, we'll see what else I get done to. Done Tuesday. Done today. I can't speak. Okay, <laughs> ramble over. What I was just doing then, <laughs> excuse that like washing that's kind of folded and well, it's mostly folded. Um, it's just Otto's pajamas that he took off this morning, but um, all the rest is pretty much folded um, apart from this one. I need to address that at some stage, but I just moved around um, and I'm not really sure about it, but um, We'll work about it. Um, we'll work about it. We'll work around it. Um, why I did that is because the, what do you call it? Two seater recline a bit there. It's driving me insane. Let me turn it around and I'll show you why. So this couch is not that old and it's not genuine leather, but um, when you pay like a decent amount of money, like $3,000, for um, this couch, but the leather is wearing off um, the headrest, that Shane's side. This was my side, and it looks terrible. And I've tried to put blankets and stuff there, but they just keep getting knocked off, um, mainly by the boys. But um, I had an idea that I would switch this to this position, and this, where Shane and I normally sit, to over here. It's kind of like doing my head in at the minute because it looks back the front, but <laughs> I don't know. I think I'll probably get used to it. And I figured um, we don't have like extra money to put into a new lounge room suite yet. Like there's so much other stuff we want to get done rather than buying a new lounge room suite that we'll just try and make this work. No one ever sits on this three seater. Washing baskets usually just sit on the three seater. They're the only things. So, you know, they can now live on this um, two seater end of the couch, but I can already see this isn't sitting. Oh, well, I need to play around with it because it's not meeting properly. But <laughs> besides the fact that it looks terrible, like <laughs> it looks bad, um, the little bits of um, leather or whatever you want to call it were just everywhere. Um, so here's one right here. <laughs> they were like flaking off. Um, going all over the place, you'd get up and they'd be on your arms. Um, they're falling off the back of the couch in little flicks. Um, there's a pile of them over here, and that's just what I swept up from under the couches, but oh, driving me insane. And they have you on your arms when you get off, so that was the main thing that's driving me insane and the reason I want to move it, but I was thinking it was going to be too long um, to go that way. Um, but it's, it's not really, and Shane still has room to walk through here um, to get to his 
seat. So um, we'll see what Shane thinks of that when he gets home. He's probably already not gonna think much of it, but these are actually recliners as well. So yeah, they are um, a recliner on each end. So um, we'll see what happens with that. But I might be able to get blankets to sit on this part of the couch if no one's actually sitting on them. So anyway, that's my solution. But um, that's just what I'm doing right now. I'm also watching um, grocery haul from Homemaking with Hampton Notes. Um, I am going to get to putting that away. Mom. Yes, Otto. There's so many good cash cards. Yeah. Oh, Otto's got no shirt on. Ken, <laughs> are you recording me? I am recording you. No. <laughs> I won't record you now because I know you've got no shirt on. Um, well, what, to play tournaments in Fortnite, yeah. you have to be 13 yep. or older. Yeah. And it's letting me play the tournament. Because you're probably on Oscar's account. No, I'm on my account. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Come oh, on. yeah, that's right. I switched it. I don't know why. Yeah, can you me? <laughs> I'm not going to record you. <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, that's the update from Otto about Fortnite. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been watching the grocery haul. I missed this one. This is 11 days ago that Dominique um, uploaded that. So it's one that I missed. I've seen that she uploaded um, this one, which I was going to watch, Clean and Reset. Um, but I've seen that I've missed this one. So I flicked back and am um, watching this while I... Move that around. Um, I've paused it for a second so you can hear me. And now I've turned it around so you can actually see me. But I'm going to put these pyjamas on Otto's bed for when he goes to bed. Or when he gets his pyjamas on. But I do have washing um, in the machine that I'm getting out. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can hang most of it on a hanger. Oh, there's a lunchbox in here. I forgot to put the lunchbox in here. Um, actually, that's why that towel feels dry because I didn't turn it on yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it helps if you actually turn the washing machine on. So now I'm turning it on. <laughs> oh, that is actually stuff that I, um, washed yesterday and forgot to hang it out so i'm just rewashing it again so it kind of feels a bit wet anyway exciting things oh i will also update on oscar's sticker business so let's have a look here oh. <laughs> good catch i just caught that <laughs> I seriously, oh, that's actually something else I'm going to sit and do right now because you may have seen my Timu haul. I got a new tripod. This one is constantly falling over like it just did, um, driving me insane like that squealing of Otto's. Um, but this is the new tripod I got. Let me turn the light on. Um... Yeah, I'm going to sit here and set this up. I dropped yoga on me, so that's what that is saying. <laughs> um, anyway, what I was going to say, yikes, is Oscar's um, sticker business. He had his stall um, Thursday, Friday, so he had some stickers on the inside there. Um, he's got some stickers left over, so he'll use them or not use them, but let's have a look how much he made from his little sticker business. So he's got 20, 25, 30, and then he's got some coin in here. So he's got two four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 12, 13, 14, 15, 
55. He's got 15, 55, and 30. So he's got um, 45, 55. Um, and he has to pay $7.20 um, for the paper that he used to print out. The, the paper was $36, but he didn't use it all. So we're not counting that as his cost. We're saying $7.20 for the 20 sheets. Used that, so he has to pay back seven twenty out of that. So he made out like thirty five um, dollars, give or take. So um, he's done his report for school. Oh my gosh, Otto is driving me insane. <clears throat> I'm gonna set up this tripod. I actually have the remote. Maybe. Maybe I might need to mute this bit. <laughs> Let me yell out to Otto. Otto! 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 Yeah. Stop squealing! Stop squealing. Can you, can you talk to I don't want to deal with it. He doesn't make the rules. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Um, anyway, I have got like stuff all over me. <laughs> anyway, I was saying that I had this like in my bra here, which <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. Um, I actually call <laughs> if I put anything in my bra there, I call it top shelf. So it was the remote was safe in the top shelf. Oh my gosh, my ears are not safe here. Um, but yeah, this is the tripod that I got off Timu, which it looks good. I just need to work out attaching the bits and pieces, which is this main piece. And I just apologize if you hear squealing in the background. I apologize when you hear squealing in the background, but if. Um, I swear. There was an instruction card. There is. It probably should be straightforward. Doesn't actually tell me anything. It just says uh, the like what the bits and pieces are. So it just basically says how do you spread the tripod foot to a maximum fat flat place? Unlock each foot and adjust the height. Lo loose the pan lock and adjust the angle. Use a lever when you want to level. So oh yeah, you can adjust this. By oh look at that wow whoa why doesn't this one go that well oh it does anyway this goes super high Ooh. oh my goodness they're fighting send help Please, somebody. Um, and I just, I just heard a slap. So Oscar obviously slapped Otto. Um, I'm just trying to work out how to attach this. That's my dishwasher. I don't know what this piece is for. just put that on and then I've tightening this screw at the back. 
and then that's when I honestly put my phone. In. No, that's just gonna come unscrewed. Anyway, I think that's all I have to do. It does have Bluetooth, so I can connect Bluetooth up to it. I have no idea what this red piece is, but. Oh, me. I thought that might fit on there, but it just slides straight down. No, no idea. Anyway, I'll put that away. Anyway, I'm going to try it out now. Alright, well, I do... I do have it secured on the tripod. Um, this is my old one, which is just a Kmart one. Um, but it was like so unstable. And if I push this too much, one of these legs, of course it's not going to happen right now, but one of these legs just kept popping off the whole time. Like that. <laughs> um, yeah, and it just wouldn't stay on. So I've got this um, as like a spare or something. Oscar plays golf with it. That's probably why the leg's so broken. Um, but yeah, this one seems nice and solid. And I can swivel it this way or that way <laughs> um, pretty easily. And yeah, I have no idea what these two bits are for. Maybe a GoPro, actually. That looks like a GoPro, yeah, um, mount thing. You could probably put a GoPro. Oh, yes, you could. So I would just unscrew where I put this, you know, that adjustable thing. And you put the GoPro holder. So I'm going to keep that in the bag um, with this red thing, which I have no idea. Comment if you think you know what that might be for. Might be for the Bluetooth button. I think it is. I think the Bluetooth button. But I don't know oh, I thought this might. Anyway, I think it's a Bluetooth button holder. Let me see if it fits in there. I don't know which way it goes. And I think you can put that onto your tripod. Anyway, that's what I think it's for. Maybe that way. Possibly. I'm going to put that together <laughs> um, in that black bag as well. So it's all in one piece. And then um, I'm going to go put that washing away. It's 20 past six. Um, I'm oh, 20 past six. I need to get Oscar moving soon. Oscar's going to you through at eight o'clock. No, seven o'clock, not eight o'clock. He's going at seven. So soon we'll get organized to take him. Um, Shane is still in Melbourne. He literally just rang me about 15 minutes ago and he's stuck um, on the other side Somewhere, if you're from Melbourne, um, on the M80, um, there's been a big accident. So it was projected an hour and 40 minutes until he gets back to the depot, which is in Essendon. Um, and yeah, they're going to try and find another way there. But um, yeah, if you know Melbourne, you'll know it's not just that easy to um, find another way around because <laughs> in the city at least if you like in a cbd if you miss a right turn like you can't go just do a u-turn and come back you've got to do another block which could take you another half an hour so um our town is not like that we can just go up and just do a u-turn and turn where we want to turn 
Um, there's also like hook turns um, in Melbourne as well. So I don't know whether um, you guys still have hook turns um, in your towns, but um, they do in Melbourne, um, not here. And at a few intersections in the CBD they are. And they used to freak me out. So if you don't know what a hook turn is, if you're like going, I think it's only for right, could be left too. Who knows? It's probably for both. Mainly the ones in the city are right. So if you want to turn right, you don't just like wait in the middle intersection. You've got to pull to the left at the intersection. So you've got cars going straight past you. Then you have to wait until the light actually turns red and then turn on the red light to sort of go with the traffic. So it's quite freaky. And if you end up um, in the middle trying to turn right, obviously people will be honking their horns at you. But quite possibly um, like trams and things go up the middle of the road. So that is not ideal. Um, yeah, so just rambling now about exciting things that nobody probably wants to listen to. Anyway, um, I have probably been rambling for half an hour. So that load of washing is probably um, nearly done. Um, and I need to stop talking. <laughs> um, I'm putting off going to do that washing. Anyway, I'm going to do it. <laughs> pretty sure most of it's my clothes that's why I've been putting off because I kind of when I folded it sorted into piles and I think um, I've done the boys into their room so some of it in that red basket will be boys now I've got hiccups um but most of it is mine and something of Shane's um anyway ramble over I'm um, also I don't even know what I'm having for tea so um yeah We'll sort that out. It's normally air fry, air fry, air fry Friday, but um, I don't know. Shane's probably not going to be home till like nine o'clock tonight. Uh, who knows? I might just tell him to get something on the way home, and I'll just put something in the air fryer for myself. Um, I did have a cheese toasty after school, um, so I'm not really hungry. <sighs> Anyway, <laughs> that's my little ramble. Just showing you the updated um, bruise on Oscar's knee and his elbow. Shosh elbow. Mm -hmm. The elbow's not mm, too bad, but the bone. Um, Oscar just came out ready for youth group and I noticed the bruise on his knee. So I just quickly showed you the update of what it's looking like. It's still really, really painful when he like bumps up against it. Um, but the video doesn't make it um, look as bad as it actually is. It's pretty, a lot of, um, what do you call them? Like blood vessels in there. But um, yeah, that's just the update on that. So it's still pretty sore, but he's not doing any sport. Um, he does have... Athletics Carnival Wednesday, which probably maybe not do. Although he still has no shirt on. <laughs> um, but he's just wrong way. This is Snowy. Yeah, Bob. Ah, uh, Bob. That's Bob. Snowy and Bob look very alike. Bob is um, Oscar's. Anyway, there's about to be a fight in the background. So I'm going to get these boys into the car, drop Oscar off, so there's no one fighting at home. It'll only be me. Fighting with Otto, and I'll only fight with him if he starts squealing at the computer. But he's not going to have Joseph to play with because Joseph's going to use as well. So, um, Where's Malachi going? and Malachi's going. <laughs> no, Flynn's not going because he's not old enough to go to youth. Um, anyway, I'm going to drop Oscar off at youth. My goodness, Otto has been sitting on this chair because it's moved and this is what I mean about the bits and pieces falling off onto the floor. Oh, it's so frustrating. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's this side as well. And all I'm here where he's been sitting. Oh, it's just, it's going to become a nightmare. I need to find a solution. Any ideas? Please let me know. But for now, we are heading out the door. 
Um, check it, Oscar. It's eight fifty-four, and um, Shane is still not home. <laughs> Bono's already in the car. But yeah. Whoop. Shane's not home from work yet. Oh my goodness. Oof. So thank goodness it is Friday. Shane will be thinking for sure. Uh. <laughs> anyway, nice bit of overtime pay. Um, but we're off to get Oscar. Happy Saturday. Oh, I have had a sleep in this morning and I'm just opening up the blinds and then, of course, heading to the coffee machine. But um, happy Saturday. Um, it is after 9. It's like 9.25. So, um, yeah, I'm still actually waking up. And I never, ever sleep in this late. So it was good. And I slept the whole night. So that was blissful because I also never sleep the whole night. I'm always awake for some time during the night. Like usually between 1 and 3 a.m. is when I wake up. Um, but that is just my sleep pattern for um, at least 13 years because it started happening when I was pregnant with Oscar so um that's just how um I sleep and yeah anyway I'm kind of used to not sleeping all night so when I do sleep all night it, oh, I remember how amazing it is um but I am the only one awake um well I don't think the boys are awake they're not up anyway um nothing planned at all for today I don't think do we have anything planned no, nothing at all planned. Nothing planned for today or tomorrow. So it'll just be getting stuff done around the house. But the most important job to tick off the list is um, a coffee. So let's make a coffee. And I think I've got crumpets in the fridge. So we will have um, them for breakfast as well. But i was just listening to see if i can still hear shane snoring and he's still snoring but hopefully um once i start the coffee machine up he might wake up i'm gonna make his coffee anyway and if he gets up in good time it'll be warm if not he'll put it in the microwave and heat it up we also did have a pizza last night and um this leftover is going into the bin i just didn't put it in the bin last night but um they put so many chili flakes on it. It is a hot and spicy pizza, um, but they never actually, they've just changed the um, menu and they're now putting chili on it, um, but they put so much chili um, flakes on it. First bite, my lips are on fire. So um, I did have, uh, I think three pieces and I just could not um, think about eating <laughs> any more of it today usually we have the leftover but um yeah i definitely will make sure that i am deselecting chili next time so i am going to just throw that in the bin um yeah and be disappointed still because it's my favorite pizza um that was ruined just bought the rubbish and recycling out and hang on need to duck back under here <laughs> um it actually feels cool out here so i think it's going to be that warm today 19 so the sun's not out yet um yeah and it actually feels nice and cool outside <laughs> but i've got washing to do and that's probably not going to dry on the line so that's a downfall it's a little later in the day and I'm making a little snack. So I've just got some of these cracker squares, which are really delicious. Just the cold spam. And some of this um, apricot and almond cheese that I got at Aldi. And I have just put them like on chunky um, style. So just like that. It is kind of hard to spread this cheese, but 
so delicious. So I'm just having that for a little snack. The boys are actually out the front riding their bikes and um, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this before they come back in. <laughs> I did not even get to sit down. I'm just filling up my drink bottle and they are already coming back inside. Just checking if I made my cordial too strong before I sit down and put my lid on. How's your ride? Good. That was good? Terrible. He wasn't listening. Oh, he wasn't listening? Well, he was. Oh. But we kept doing Happy Sunday. Yes, it is Sunday, despite the fact that I have the same jumper on as I had on yesterday. But my plan is, um, <laughs> of, um, of, 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 of. <laughs> My plan is always to learn English, um, but my plan for this morning is um, I got up and had a shower, um, just quickly threw my hair up and also um, threw my clothes on from yesterday because I've got to go to the supermarket and get <coughs> milk. We're completely out of milk, both for the coffee machine and the full cream milk I get for the boys. Oscar needs deodorant and what else do I need to get? some potatoes um we're having steak for tea um my brother got this um massive big like uh, i don't know if you call it like um uh, a big lump of um scotch from his friend um he gave it to him for helping out and feeding his dog while they're away so he um cut it all up and he um gave us some pieces i've had them in the freezer um and we're finally going to have them for tea. So I'm going to do some um, chips on the barbie as well um, with the steaks. So I need to get some potatoes. Um, yeah, so I am just throwing my clothes on from yesterday. <laughs> because when I get home, I'm going to put my pyjamas on, clean the fresh pyjamas, and stay in my pyjamas all day and not leave the house. So that's my plan. Um, I'm probably going to do maybe some baking today. Not like extravagant baking maybe make some golf balls um and some cookies maybe we'll see we'll see how energetic i get but my plan is to get back into my pjs um when i get back home so i thought there's no point my clothes are still clean but there's no point putting like fresh clothes on just for the quick trip out so i don't know if i'm going to go to coles or woolworths but um, Oscar needs deodorant, so I'm just going to have a look on Coles or Woolworths and see if anyone has it on sale. He used to use the Lynx roll one, but he said that's not really working or for him anymore, so he wants to try a different one. So I don't know if it's going to be like a Rex owner or a Dove, but he wants a roll one. So I'll see whether Coles or Woolies has one on sale, and that's where I'll go to get everything else. But that's my plan for now and then back home into my PJs so happy Sunday I was a little missing yesterday but I'll try and film a little bit more today
well today did not go as planned um but the one thing that did go to plan was me getting into my pajamas once i got back from the supermarket um so that was a tick and a win in my books <laughs> i didn't do any baking um i had a little nap on the couch um not intentionally i just fell asleep and i was probably asleep for like 40 minutes so after that that kind of drained <laughs> all my motivation to actually cook anything um that was my <laughs> excuse anyway well, the boys are just riding out the front so i was just watching them um <laughs> i did uh, film pulling apart the chicken which you would have already seen um and now i'm about to go and get the meat ready for the barbecue for the barbecue to cook for tea so we're having steak for tea so it is that late it is 5 25 um and i'm about to yeah start tea so that's um pretty much the sunday done <laughs> anyway not mad about it but um yeah no um golf balls or biscuits to put in the boys lunches but that's okay I have the steaks and the corn on and I've got some uh, chips in here cooking so um, I've just put garlic and onion powder on those with a little bit of oil and you've probably just seen <laughs> that I put I think I recorded this bit I don't know <laughs> if I didn't um, I'll show you when I flip them but I um, put stainless steel bowls over the top of the steaks um, somebody told my brother-in-law that to do that makes them more tender so i always just have these stainless steel bowls on top of the steak so i've got a timer counting down so i know when to go to flip them so if i didn't show me putting the bowls on i'll show you me taking the bowls off to flip the steak <laughs> Otto <laughs> sitting up here with the girls waiting for his dessert so he's got oh, I don't know why my camera is not <laughs> focusing but <laughs> he's having sprinkles with ice cream and the girls are going to sit up here Otto's a bit sad more yeah yeah I know. yeah because <laughs> yeah, uh, Oscar, Oscar pushed me yeah to, into dad's sink yeah and then it was really hard. So now I have a headache. Yeah, so he's just gonna have some ice cream and then he's gonna have. So if it, if it. Yeah, see if it helps, but. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's what Otto is up to. And I am up to cleaning the kitchen. Uh, it's not too bad, but. Um, <laughs> I do need to start by going to put this ice cream away in the freezer. Um, and then I'm going to clean up the kitchen and then get the boys into bed and then head to bed myself. <laughs> Shane is already in bed. Um, he's off to Warnable again tomorrow. Um, so he'll be back Wednesday as usual. And um, just checking my bread situation. <laughs> That's the dogs next door. We don't have dogs. But uh, two loaves of bread. We do just have one that I pulled out. So probably Tuesday I will need to go and get more bread. Um, the dogs can obviously hear me out here. <laughs> um, anyway, back to the kitchen I go. <sighs> I am still trying to figure this tripod out, but I am just checking in my little snack box to see um, that I've got <laughs> stuff for lunches, um, which I do, and I've got some more um, to put in here, 
which <laughs> these little mini chicken Pringles. Otto started off not liking them, but now he loves them. So he's always liked the normal ones, but he's loving these chicken ones. But you can only get them at Woolworths. So I did grab some um, in Woolworths. Doing a bit of a reshuffle of things that I have um, and things that are empty to put out, but um, I've got all sorts of things <laughs> in this box. But these live at the top, they're kind of like um, the stockpile of snacks, they live at the top of the pantry, and the boys usually don't get in them. But the ones that I go to for lunches are just in here. But this is what I was. Otto only likes this brand. He doesn't really like that one. And he doesn't like Mini Monkeys. So fussy. My boys are so, so fussy. He likes the Ritz Minis. Um, Oscar's in charge of hacking his own lunchbox now because, um, yeah, it's so hard to know what he wants to have and then he doesn't want to eat it. Um, so he just packs his own snack and he will not take a sandwich, so that's frustrating. Anyway, <laughs> that's the way the crinkles come and then you have to break them down. I've been just refilling this popcorn box with these and keeping that with the school snacks as well. So I didn't just buy this today. I bought these and the Pringles the other day. Oh, I did go to Woolworths earlier, but not to get these. a quick clean up and the bench is pretty much clear I do just need to go take this into the laundry for a spare but uh, pretty good I <laughs> that was Otto <laughs> it was Oscar it was not Oscar it was Otto <laughs> Um, but what I was about to say is I set the timer on my dishwasher 
to start in the morning and then I need to refill the rinse aid so I did that um <laughs> and then Otto came and done a massive burp um tried blaming it on us but it wasn't um anyway I'm going to put this into my little stuff pile because I've been stocking up others are so cheap at LD like a dollar 29 49 69 something like that um but yes yeah, so cheap um so I'm getting quite a stockpile of them um and then I'm getting Otto into bed <laughs> gonna grab his pajamas while I'm down at this end of the house in the dark <laughs> So need to fix up Otto's bed while I'm in here. Um, Otto needs to clean up in his room because he has clothes down there on the floor. So he can come and pick those up before bed. Um, and I'm just going to quickly straighten his bed up so he can get into it. Well, <laughs> flying basketball. Uh, Otto has picked up all of his washing and put it in the basket, and now he's just having a few shots at the hoop. Whoop, close. Oh. <laughs> I hit it, but it wasn't that close. Whoa. Oh, close. in a little while. The boys have been in bed for a little while and I have just gotten everything ready organised for the week so it's not far off me heading into bed as well. Um, it definitely does not feel like Sunday to me. My week this week has been so short and just not my normal week so only Monday, Tuesday at the canteen, Wednesday, Thursday off, one house on Friday um, and then done really nothing on the weekend so it just doesn't feel like a Sunday but it is indeed a Sunday it is indeed the end of this vlog thanks for joining me this week um thank you for watching and until next week enjoy the simple things in life and I'll see you in the next vlog